A good hose is a must-have piece of kit, whether you're watering plants, pressure washing or cleaning the car. Superficially, they all look similar, but hoses vary enormously in quality. In this video buyer's guide, we explain all you need to know to make the right choice. Although you can buy a hose for as little as £10, spending even just a few pounds more can mean a big difference in quality. And for keen gardeners who use hoses a lot, going up to a better model again can make watering a pleasure rather than a chore. A premium hose starts from around £40. Bear in mind that cheaper hoses could need frequent replacing, which could cost as much as a better one in the long run. With plastic waste now a big issue too, it's far better to buy once and buy right. Hose technology has made big advances in recent years, with lighter, stronger materials which are free of harmful chemicals. Construction and strength varies considerably. Entry-level hoses have only three layers and are very liable to kink and squash. Mid-range hoses have around four layers or have added reinforcement. And premium hoses are made with five or six layers, again, sometimes with additional materials for added strength. The best hoses are anti-kink, anti-twist and crush-proof. As well as traditional hoses, there are expanding, sometimes known as magic hoses, that are very compact and easy to store. The first consideration when choosing is the tasks your hose will need to perform, as these will determine the strength you need. If you're just using it for watering, then strength is less of an issue, but if you're using a pressure washer or sprinkler, it's wise to go for a strong hose. Strength, or burst pressure, is measured in the metric unit VAR and is usually listed on the packaging. Expanding hoses aren't suitable for use with pressure washers, watering systems and the like. Hoses are available in different diameters. The most popular size for garden hoses is 13 millimeters, half an inch. Larger diameter hoses are available if you need to move a lot of water in a short time. Hose guarantees range from as little as a year up to a lifetime. Most are between 10 and 30 years. The number of layers affects the hose strength and resistance to kinking or twisting. Ideally, a hose should bend and flex well for ease of use, but kink as little as possible. Kinking is irritating and time consuming, and also shortens hose life by making it liable to splitting and cracking. You can do a quick test on hose quality by bending a short section into a U to see if it holds its shape or not. Premium hoses are usually labelled kink resistant, and the strongest are also described as crush resistant, useful if the hose is likely to be driven over by cars or heavy garden machinery. Consider the outer surface of the hose too. Textured or ridged models will give better grip onto the connectors that attach the hose to the tap and the nozzle. They're less likely to burst off the hose whilst it's under full pressure. Before buying your hose, work out how long it needs to be. Measure the maximum distance it needs to reach, then add a bit extra so the hose won't be stretched to its limit. Don't buy longer than you need, as it will be heavier, more expensive and harder to store than necessary. If you have taps in different places, two hoses could be easier to use than one long one. Consider the eco-credentials too. Most hoses are now free of phthalates, a group of chemicals known as plasticizers that make stiff plastics like PVC more flexible, but which may have detrimental effects on health. Colour might be a secondary consideration, but worth bearing in mind if your hose has to be kept somewhere prominent, like on the patio. In some situations though, a bright hose might be a plus. The more visible it is, the less likely it is to be run over, for example. Lastly, check whether the hose comes with connectors. A nozzle isn't essential for watering, and you can vary the water jet just by putting your finger partly over the end, but you will need a fitment for your tap and a connector to go on that end of your hose. Many traditional hoses come without connectors fitted, and it's important that these are fitted securely to avoid wasteful leaks or the hose popping off while you're watering. Unscrew the collar part of the connector and put onto the hose. Then, hold the end of the hose in just boiled water for a couple of minutes. Slide the connector on while the hose material is warm and flexible. Repeat if you're fitting a nozzle to the other end. Unpack the hose and unroll it right out, straightening out any twists. Fit the tap connector onto the tap and connect the hose to it. The connector simply snaps on by pulling back the collar, pushing the connector firmly on and clicking the collar in place. Then turn on the water and you're good to go. Once you're done, turn off the tap and release the pressure if using a nozzle at the working end. Expanding hoses need to fill with water and expand to their full length before you start watering. Ensure the water flow is turned off at the nozzle end. Turn on the tap and wait for the hose to fill. Once full, begin watering. When not in use, storing your hose without any twists or kinks will extend its life and also keeps it out of harm's way. Either coil it neatly, or suspend it from a hanger, either bought or homemade, or use a hose cart or reel. While all good hoses are UV, ultraviolet resistant, and hence fine to leave outside, cheaper or expanding hoses should be kept undercover or at least in the shade. 
Come the autumn, do remember to drain all the water from your hose, otherwise it could freeze inside. Ice expands more than water, so this can damage or weaken your hose. Storing undercover over winter is highly recommended. A good hose can be a pleasure to use, and a bad one will be a hassle. Good luck, and water wisely. <laughs>